Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Welcome to episode 2 of FreeCAD Tips and Tricks. Today's topic, SVG files and how to use them with your model. Okay, let's get started. So after we got a new file open and running, we want to go into file and import our SVG file. So I'm just going to go down to import. And we want to find our SVG file. In my case, I call it thumbs up. Make sure it's collect, uh, selected SVG on this little drop down menu. And you're just going to open it up. Now, this, when it opens, it opens everything into a body. So every shape is its own body. Now, this is useful, but sometimes you're going to have to edit the SVG file. Or, sorry, edit the the body itself so what we want to do is bring it back into a sketch so we can edit so how you want to do that is in the drop down menu you're going to go into draft and then you're going to select all three of the of the parts for your SVG file and then you want to go down to this icon and this what what this does is breaks the bodies back into sketches so as you can press that and there we go, we get three new sketches. Now I'm gonna hide the original bodies just with by pressing space. And then we have our three sketches. Now this is good and all, but we kinda wanna combine these sketches to make one big sketch. And how we wanna do that is go back into Sketcher. Select all three. And then up here in the toolbar, you're gonna select Sketch. And move down to Merge Sketches. And just gonna press that once. Now what that does is make a new sketch, but with all the sketches combined. So I'm going to hide the three original sketches by pressing space. And then I'm going to go into the new sketch that's been merged together. Okay, so here we are in the sketch. And as you can see, the SVG file turned into a big sketch. Now, this SVG file did have two rectangles to make this big rectangle. And we didn't want that. So let's delete the two lines on the inside by clicking it and pressing delete. And then every line the SVG file makes is a, I believe it's called a, a beast line. Uh, let me check what it's called. A beast line, yes. So all of these points you can move and edit as much as you want and it should work. Um, you will notice that nothing constrained and if you really wanted to constrain, you could lock every single point in but that's kind of tedious and it shouldn't really matter if as long as you don't mess with it too too much like I can pull this in so I can edit this as much as I want then if I press close it acts just like any normal sketch so here I uploaded another thumb or imported another thumb and let's say I wanted to cut this thumb out of another body like this cube I made or really a rectangle prism so how I want to do that is I'm just going to hide this cube for a sec I'm going to select all three of the of the bodies from the import. It's going to select the top one, then shift, select the bottom, and that selects all three. And then I'm going to do a pull or a extrude. And I'm going to do 10 millimeters. Press OK. And there we have it. And then I'm just going to combine all of these objects together into one body, especially for the the big rectangle since it's made of two smaller rectangles. I'm going to apply that. And it should all... Oops, and I just have to combine these two. Okay, I can close that. I can bring back our cube. And then I can cut. So I'm going to select the big cube first, or the cube object first, not really a cube anymore. And then I'm going to select the hand. And then we're going to cut the hand into the object, just like this. So that's the end of this video, guys. Hope this tutorial helps. If you want to suggest a video idea, just leave a comment down below. I'll check it out. You should check out my Instagram. I post some fun things there sometimes. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, just like my project here. Consider subscribing if you really enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.